Bloomberg. I'm Kaylee McEnany on this Friday. Here is my co-host, Emily Campagno. Also joining us, co-host of Fox and Friends, Ainsley Earhart, director of the Tech Policy Center at the Heritage Foundation, Kara Frederick, and co -host. Look, there was something that opened my eyes this morning, Ainsley, from the that I hear, in other words, Trump trounced Joe Biden. That can never happen again. And their candidates, plural, most egregious statements. But they didn't counter Kamala's Both candidates' debates. You would have seen Kamala give the IVF lie. You would have seen Kamala give the lie about a national abortion ban. And you would have fact-checked Curious it. to see what happens over the next month with ABC's ratings. Did they steal from MSNBC? Did they steal from the other... Before the cameras even shut down, like the lights were still bright in if Philadelphia. Kamala was such a front-runner, she wouldn't be asking for more debates. Right. Look, we see it at the at, with children, it's right? Every security on the streets. So she can call for as much as she wants, but I think it's also important strategically that President Trump keeps saying there's not going to be a third one. Because the, the campaign for Kamala keeps saying second. But no, mm -hmm. no, no. He's already put in his two because it was Joe Biden. Yeah, and Kara, here's the case in for office to actually make this change and help America. If Trump wanted to destroy America, he would have And said, no, Mr. President, in the Situation Room as the last person in the room before Afghanistan, did you tell him no? Mm. I believe the answer to that is no. All right, well, critics are accusing former President Trump of being too angry at the debate. Well, Trump says he agrees with them. He is angry. In fact, he's outraged. Why he's so mad. Next. You know what I appreciate about this so much? is that this is another example of when the left tries to spin President Trump and his emotions as being all about him. And President Trump is sitting there saying, yeah, I am angry. And I'm angry on behalf of all of us for what is being done to this country. Yet again, for the upteenth time, it's actually not about him as a human. It's about him as a fellow American. And you hit exactly where my thoughts were. Look, McCourtney Institute for Democracy in January did a survey and they found nine in 10 Americans are angry about some news event. They could point to one some political event by an illegal immigrant, a girl in New York City. And this is the point you hit, and it's so important. Kamala is trying to get him to direct that anger towards his own reasons to be angry at the Trump trials, and the list goes on. And he does have a right to be angry about all. To the events in the American political landscape is a winner every day of the week. And let's talk about winning, Kara. So will this type of sentiment, the fact that, yes, Kaylee is echoing what so many millions of Americans feel, the outrage, the indignance, the pain, Will that translate in November? I truly hope so, because I sort of see Trump right now as the avatar for the middle class. You know, no matter what Kamala Harris says about her upbringing and whatnot, and Tony, the consequences of the disastrous policies of the left. So that is what I think the American people are going to be pulling the lever for in uh, November, hopefully. Yeah, and however, the media will continue. That is why what Kaylee said, her advice for the president, channeling that anger into these two topics, the economy and the border slash safety. I'll wrap them up. Really driving home this simplicity point. You want the last thing that an undecided in a swing state thinks about before they check a box. And that's why Kaylee is so right. Channel that anger. Mm -hmm. Ainsley, I wanted to come to you last on this specific point, because as we talk about sort of harnessing really about policy, do you feel that President Trump will be able to harness that very crucial block that needs or should be yeah. called to step up to vote for these policies that will help Americans. I loved when one man said, what do I tell my children? Trump, and he said that in the town hall. You might not like me. It is about who's best for your family and what's best for America. And it's all Donald Trump. My I align more with him. What am I concerned with? Immigration, crime, and inflation. I want more money in my bank account. And then we'll spend more money and the economy will boom again. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. And what you just articulated, your, your priorities, that is reflected in the polls, that the majority, the vast majority of Americans feel the same, that those are their top three priorities. Vote policy, not personality. Now, Vice President Harris is facing pushback on one of her top debate claims about the economy as Trump proposes a fresh new tax break. Stay with us. When they hear that, I want to pull up the Trump tax policy, which is now, Todd, no tax on tips, no tax Have you on guys heard about Kamala's new, <laughs> not stolen, completely original policy? Oh, will she keep using the talking point, Emily? Mm -hmm. I'm sure she will. I, I love also that she mentioned Wharton and then President Trump. Just not enough, right? Not yes, enough. And then <laughs> voters will have a choice between vibes and paychecks, so mm. we'll see what choice they make. Well, senators from both sides of the aisle say they are. 
Oh, it is so sweet. What a precious moment. And I'd like to read a little bit more about this precious boy, Liam, that his family said. The name of the rare brain disorder. More outnumbered next.